see how that building is sort of like cut away there, that yeah. white building, how it's cut away there? There's actually, there's actually a, uh, a walkway there. You can see where the garage door is and all. That walkway will extend all the way through here. So, so you'll have, much, I think, a much friendlier environment. And in contrast, the Berkeley City College, while, you know, it's kind of maybe a snazzy modernist design and stuff, it does some things for the street. You can argue that maybe it's not, it's not active enough for the real I think. And, and for the folks who are really into historic character, or, you know, having some buildings that complement the traditional character of downtown, you can see, you know, the materials and the way that the building sort of leans out and stuff like that is is quite different than um, the traditional buildings in the downtown. So the future buildings that are likely to have like to be likely to be much more contextual, much more contextual to the to the historic buildings. That doesn't mean that they would be imitating the historic buildings, but rather that they would pick up some more of the features like the ground floor retail. But these two blocks here originally were rail yards. The rail yards. There's actually like a little train station there. And then they um, which they built on that block. This was actually a little park right there. This block here was a park for a long time. And then they built on that. Where the Bank of America building is, that used to be a 10-story building. It was torn down and made into a one-story suburban-style thing. Really unfortunate for that group. Um, interesting now that there's a big fight, or a little bit of a fight, in terms of whether it should become a 10-story building or not again. But, um, it was the economic, and you know what's terrible? It was um, a John Galen Howard building on top of it. And um, it was because, the, you know, the, 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 it was going to take a lot of money to, to renovate it, and it was just their priority. At the time. Just so you know, see, so you see what the park station is? So this, you know, the bus rapid transit, there's some talk about straightening the street out. Actually, you know, you, you don't notice it, but Shattuck Avenue is one for the BART entrance. It would be straight. When they put the BART entrance in, it's, it's actually an interesting urban design move that I don't think works. That was a more interesting building. You really notice it as you're driving down Shattuck and all. They went to the trouble of, like, putting that thing on axis with Shattuck, and then they made it dark and ugly. Right. They, they must have liked so, I mean, if it had, if it had been like the Crystal Palace, <laughs> you know, and, you have, and actually we're they're thinking about like creating a new dome or, yeah. or actually moving. And you guys might have an attitude, you know, are thinking about this. They're actually talking about even maybe moving the main to the other side of the street, so it could be part of the Center Street Plaza. Yes. Okay. Why don't they just turn this all into one street and have that other yes. part be... Uh, that's one of the things that's being thought of. It wouldn't be closed completely, but they'd make it a slow street. They'd make it a, a slow street on, on that yep, side. Exactly. And you can have that as a park and get together. There you go. There you go.